We're here at NAB Show New York 2019. It's a growing show with thousands of attendees and hundreds of exhibitors, right here in the Big Apple. Ashley within broadcast. Joining me is Gordon Brooks of Zixi. Hello. Hi, Ashley. How are you? Very good. Thank you. So tell me, what could we expect from Zixi in the next 6 to 12 months? So, uh, you know, Zixi's been in uh, the IP delivery business and uh, control plane business for 12 years. Uh, we're probably 10 years too early, but this IP thing, I think, is really catching on and uh, is going to be here for a long time. So we're introducing a whole lot of new capabilities within Zen Master. We're uh, using AI to predict uh, encoder uh, quality. We're uh, putting in uh, uh, automation tools. We're putting in reporting tools. So a lot of building upon usability at scale. So as you deploy large scale, you know, thousands and thousands of IP streams, you can manage it with uh, resources that are uh, reasonably priced, reasonably cost, and easy to find. And why is something like that so important? Well, I, you know, it, it, in the tr the television industry is about 100 years old, and it ha hasn't changed in the first 80 years, it really didn't change much. And in the last three or four years, it's just been a tremendous amount of change in terms of how people are, are watching TV and how it's being consumed and, and how you have to monetize it. So you have to move your content around in a different way than you ever had to at a scale that you didn't have to. And IP is very difficult uh, medium to move uh, 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 live video. Uh, or live linear video around. So just very, very important that you democratize it, that you, uh, uh, you know, put a control plane over it so that you can abstract that complexity. And so is that everything that's going on here new for you currently? Is, is there anything else that you're highlighting? Uh, no, we're, we're highlighting, uh, I, I think a lot of uh, what we're doing in transcoding is, is new. So we did the first 4K uh, transcode origination for Bloomberg, and it's been launched with Bloomberg Plus. Uh, that's never been done before. Uh, live transcoding. Uh, transcoding has been done for a long time, but transcoding of live uh, content is very complicated, especially high bit rate. And we're working on uh, clients right now doing 8K uh, transcoding. So some of that stuff's very cool too. Yeah. And so along with all of these new things, did you face any challenges, whether it be in designing, launching, anything like that that you had to overcome? Yeah, I don't know about design and launch, but it's been re-education. So um, a lot of what was done in the IP world was point-to-point -point contribution for a number of years for your Class B, Class C content. Now it's your Class A content, it's your primary, and um, uh, re-educating people that, that uh, what Zixi does and how we can do it at scale took some time. And, and we're there. We were there with you know the NBCs and and almost every major broadcaster now using this at very very large scale. Uh, AWS to standardize on Zixi uh, to get video into uh, the cloud, across the cloud and out of the cloud. So uh, it's it's been it's been fun, but it was challenging for a little while. And so, what territories really show an interest in your products? So right now we're uh, we're about 60% uh, of of our revenue is in North America and 40% is international. So we are uh, obviously have multiple offices in, in the U.S. Uh, we're also in uh, London uh, supporting uh, EMEA. We're in Singapore uh, and Malaysia um, and uh, you know moving on to uh, many other uh, territories. Yeah, we're all over. We are. So, um, yeah, wow. So can you tell me a little bit about what we might expect in the near future from Zixby? Yeah. Uh, so, what you see is uh, 5G, I think, is coming out. I don't know how near future that is, but that's that's going to be a big game changer. And 5G is really an IP channel. I mean, it's, it's it requires the same kind of protection the Internet will require. We think that's going to change the industry even more. So we're very, very focused on that. So I think that's very interesting. Uh, a lot of Zixi in the past has been over the open Internet. We're now being put over all IP sources, so whether it be fiber, whether it be uh, IP channels on satellite, cellular, you know, so that that's uh, something that's really going on. A lot more machine learning, a lot more uh, predictive analytics, so that we can predict problems before they occur. Because it's a very unforgiving industry, uh, no downtime allowed. Uh, so things in that nature. Very nice. Well, thank you so much for all the information, and it was wonderful speaking with you. Great to speak with you too. Thank Thanks. you.